I am willing to admit that I am naive and have a tendency to look for the silver linings and the golden sparkles in all things. And it seems like today, even though Utah was shaken and quaking yesterday and there are still aftershocks rolling through our little valley, it seems like things are starting to calm down. <laughs> now, I'm also willing to admit that I might be having this experience because I have chosen to be very selective about who I interact with and for how long. I have also chosen to be very selective about what I look at on social media and what I read and what I research. So it could be possible, and I am willing to acknowledge and own this, it could be possible that I'm creating an actual experience of having joy in times when it should be otherwise. I love that I am capable of creating this sort of experience for myself. Even this morning, if you follow me, if you're friends with me here on Facebook, you know that this morning I had a crazy experience with some... Um, with a company, a business that is choosing to use very unethical practices during this time of worldwide need. And so, yeah, while I may be choosing to have and create a joyful, loving experience through all of this, I am still experiencing things that are not, um, that are not pleasant. So my question of the day is this, and I invite you to invoke this question in your life and to see what magic can evolve. So the question that I'm playing with today is, how can I make things simpler? How can I make things simpler for myself? How can I make things simpler for other people? If you are choosing to socially isolate instead of socially distance, which means Socially distance means you uh, separate yourself physically from other people, but you're still in the same area with other people. Whereas social iso isolation means that you're actually holed up in your house. You're not coming out and you're not interacting with humans on uh, a, you know, a distant, <laughs> a distance. <laughs> By the way, if you're practicing social isolation, I super hope that you are doing all kinds of tools to keep you spiritually uplifted. There's a lot of inherent social dangers inside, not social, but emotional and mental dangers inside social, social isolation. See, I can't even say it. Social isolation. I <laughs> social isolation is inherently dangerous for the human psyche. Because especially in today's world of modern technology where you have at your fingertips on the television or on your phone 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days of the year, you have the news available to you. And I promise you, the news is not focused on the joyful things that are happening. <laughs> it is a fear fest out there, people. <laughs> and if you listen only to the media, that's all that's going on in this world. But I'm here to tell you... Actually, the truth is that there are exponentially bigger and exponentially more positive things going on in the world than we're aware of. So my question for you is, how can I make this simpler? That's the question I'm playing with today. And I would love to hear what results you have from playing with this question. So drop, drop, it, drop it in the comments below. And remember, you are completely in charge of how you experience these next few weeks. And your choices and your focus are what form your experience. So choose love, choose laughter, and choose light so that that's what you can experience. Thank you for keeping on, keeping on. Love you so much. Create yourself a beautiful day. And we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.